Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix Online Meeting 190, another big round number. Rolling our way into June. Feels like about halfway through the year, all that kind of good stuff. Summer here, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun. Definitely feeling nice, though. Uh, what's not feeling nice, and uh, those of you that were on the stream before we started recording right now, uh, know that my PowerPoint is acting up. That way that I show slides and all that kind of introductory stuff that happens here. Um, so what you see now is actually a snapshot of the first slide, just so I have something to say that, hey, we're at meeting 190, which is quite exciting. Um, but fortunately, the agenda, which slide I can't show you, says that uh, we were just going to do triage today. Um, triage of issues, and then uh, Sean asked us to do triage of all the Wix 3 pull requests that have been outstanding for, I don't know, a long time, as we've generally been ignoring Wix 3 for, well, a long time. So we'll go look at those, and that'll be the thing. Oh, quick reminder, because I'm always supposed to say this, uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. I do have the little red bolt to remind me of that. So, uh, without a slide transition, Bob, you ready to go look at Triosh? Uh We can, but it'll be it'll be really fast. Yeah, I know. I just want to show this. It's like, hey, isn't that cool? No results, make sure query. So that means that we triaged everything last week. It felt like there was quite a bit to triage last week, so I guess it feels good. But fortunately, it sets us up for uh, two pages worth of triage, which is a lot. I don't know that we're going to get through it all today. Um, but uh, I guess we should go ahead and get started, right? So what we're looking at are, are we taking these pull requests? If not, are we taking them Wix 4? And if not, then, well, if we're taking Wix 3, we should get them merged or plan to merge them. If we are not taking them to Wix 3, are we taking the Wix 4? If so, we need to get a plan for getting them to Wix 4 and someone assigned to, because I don't know if we're going to expect these people to go do that over there. And then if we're not, then we should start getting them closed. That sound right? Yeah. Yep. All right. I think this first one's kind of the one that tripped it all off of um, adding four seven and four eight to Wix three fourteen. This comes up regularly. I think Sean's kind of uh, tired of hearing people talk about it, uh, and it's been out there for a while. All the different fixes and things people have already submitted. So it should be pretty safe. Uh, should we take it, or are we just going to punt this and tell everybody to go to four to get four seven two four eight, or you know, copy the code and put it into their own um, package because it is just you know grabbing some of excess code. Yeah, it, it's really easy for people to to take the the code that's been posted and put it into their project. And historically, if you go through mail and Wix users, issues on Stack Overflow, people tend to tweak the authoring anyway, so they end up pulling the files into their own project anyway. Um, but I'm fine with taking this in, in 3.14. It's additive. Worst case is that it's broken, but I trust Sean. <laughs> it's not going to break anything that already existed in, in like 3.11. So. All right, Sean? Do you want yeah, to fight against your way. PR? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've just, you could argue against it. That's always an option. All right. Uh, I guess we will toss that one in. Fix discovery with mo. Whoops. Whoops. Fix discovery of payloads with mo container that need to be assigned. Am I reading that wrong? Am I, mo container need to be assigned to the default container. Yeah, it's a typo. It should be no container. Uh, no container. Fix discovery payloads with no container that need to be assigned to the default container. I see. Really? Oh, this is just deleting some stuff we don't need. Why did it move? Oh, come on, dude. None of our other files look like that. All right. Um, deleting a bunch of stuff and then adding a bunch of things. Yeah, this has too much change in it, right? Like, or has, because your comments haven't been resolved, have they? No. But, so. I mean, it, it works. It's just 
a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Right. Or it, it's more changes than it needs to be. Yeah. Uh, I think, General, that's a red flag for me. Yeah, I think we should take this issue into four. Now, I did not think ahead into how we should bring these over. Um, we probably should assign them to someone and label them with, or projects and say move them to four or something. So we could just find these as work items for us to do at some point um, to bring them over. Because I think we should fix the problem underneath if it hasn't already been fixed. Maybe Sean's already fixed it. Um, uh, no. No. So um, I was hoping, I was hoping Nier would just submit it to four. Yeah, but. but doesn't seem to be interested in doing that. No, I think Nier's generally just worried about getting his people, whoever he's working for, unblocked, and then he moves on. So um, he doesn't have to maintain these long-term kinds of things. He's like, all right, I have published it because it's part of the contract, or as part of the license, you have to uh, publish the changes. So he published the changes, and then he's good to go. Um, so how does the legal stuff work here? Like, could, are we allowed to take his submission against three and put it in four? Yeah, because it's to the project, as long as the, all the CLA stuff is done. And I'm pretty sure Nero's has done that. Although it's not flagged here. I wonder why the CLA bot didn't say anything here. That's actually really You're not signed in. Oh, if, I'm not. But do I see him if I'm signed checks. in? Yeah, okay. I think if you go checks, it would show it. All right. Anyway, um, I know he's he's done it for other things, so this one I'm less worried about. Uh, but you know, it's to the whole project, so we're you know he's assigned it to Wix. Oh, big truck coming! Let's close window despite it being warm out in here. All right. Um. So. Uh. So yeah. So should we just? Uh. Did that sound reasonable? assigning it to someone, one of us, pres presumably, and then uh, putting it in Project 4 and then moving it? Because I do think we should fix the bug. We shouldn't ignore it, even if he's not going to bring it over. I ideally, I'd like to see an issue. Well, this ideally, I'd like to see issues before pull requests in general. I think this is... Then, no, this there, there is an issue. Oh, okay. Well, then... You just didn't link it properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I guess in okay, right, right. This is what I remember. I remember yeah, the issue. This isn't four. Or, yeah. Okay. So, do we need to keep the pull request around? I and mean, it's not like they go away when they're closed. They're still available. That's true. If it's linked correctly, it's still around. I think we should put some kind of label on it saying like "denied for three or something like that. Move to three. Move to I think we have one. Move to four. Move to four. Sorry, move to three. <laughs> move to four. Move to four. No way. We have, yes. Of course we are planned that far ahead. No. Okay, great. So, problem solved. I'll, I'll take credit. Um, yeah, Bob. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. Yeah, I say move to four and close. Uh, okay. As long as we, well, we got to be able to find it. This one's not linked, I don't think, to that issue properly, is it? That's fair. Okay. Link. Well, there it is. There it is. Right? No, that's a different one. <laughs> Lovely. That's a different issue. No, I, but the one above it is. Oh, that's it. Right, yeah. Open. I'm worried about them being closed. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to leave them open either. Correct. That's it. I'm I, I'm I'd much rather take the the potential hit of of I don't know. I guess it's the theoretical hit of losing something. Um, all right. Rather, okay. You know. And it's already tired for four, so it's going to get part of swept up in the review of all things for four. So. Um, okay. All right. Move the four. Sweep it up, and it's already in there. And we just have to remember that this will be red not green when we go looking for these things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Groovy. Add support for outbound firewall rules. 
Oh, there's a CLA. See, there's a CLA. Really weird. Maybe it didn't because he already... I don't know. Um... Uh, I think me and Bob already agreed that we could take this if he fixes the things. Okay. Yeah, there was a couple. There was the, the flag value and something else. 4-2? Is it really 4-2? Okay. No, you guys that, are pretty clearly saying that it's 2. All right. <laughs> um, okay, is this in 4 already? The functionality uh, is. Yeah, we didn't do it. This one's backwards compatible without adding a column, but we implemented it differently in four by adding a column. Got it. Great. Uh, so how much longer do we want this to hang out? April 6th. I mean, it's been <laughs> a month, but no comments since they sent it. Has there been any follow-up? No? No. No. Mm. Opinions? It's it I mean the code is well the code has issues. Um I think it will work fine. Um it's obviously, you know, it's gonna be a drive by pull request. Um And it looks like if we want to take it, we'd have to yeah, implement our own suggested fix. Um, yeah, this, for me, this is the the negatives are outweighing the positives. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm all about moving the four. So I mean, I'm fine with just. I thought we should just leave it open. If they fix it, they fix it. And if they don't, well, I mean, we already, we've responded to it. So it's not like, it's not like it looks like we're ignoring it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now we're going to leave things open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, because I think we're in basic agreement that it could be, it could be taken. We don't need to act on it because the functionality is already in four. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with a ping and a and a you know um a ping and a wait. No, I I, I would say we we shouldn't wait, you know, forever. Um well, I, you know, I, at a certain I, point we at a certain point I do want to stop taking this kind of change even in three fourteen. Yeah, well I mean when we have four out, we're just I mean, we're just gonna sweep and shut well, down three. Right. Sorry, but I'm I'm saying even before four comes out, you know, I don't I don't want to continue taking a change. You know, if we go back to the idea that that three fourteen is all about moving to four, um, you know, it should it should come in. Its glide path should match fours, right? Yeah. So, just like you know, as you approach an RTM, you start tightening down on, on what you take, I want to treat 314 the same way. So at so, some point we come back and go, oh, this, the bar has risen above this point. This PR now gets closed because it never got fixed. Never got Yes. Fixed. Yep. Okay. And I, That would be my, uh, right. my thing, my okay. recommendation. And we don't have that glide path. I'm hoping that we – but we're getting – I feel uh, – we are getting close to that with preview zero of Wix four. And while I'm not prepared to talk about preview zero this week, because I knew we were going to be talking about these PRs, which I did think was a good idea. Uh, in two weeks, we'll be talking about Wix four and what preview zero means. And then hopefully we're starting to figure out what I actually have a downward slope for Wix four, as opposed to a big open space. So we'll let this hang out. We're going to talk about Wix 4's glide path, and then at some point we will say, you know, we're not really taking anything to Wix 3 anymore, and we come back here and sweep these things. Anything that's still open gets shut down. Right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Feature, multiple attached containers. This is the feature that surprised me that it actually worked. Um, oh, weird. 
Yeah, it would have to get rebased. Yeah, okay. I was like, what did it do here? Right. I think, I mean, what did we do for the issue? Oh, I guess Bob already commented on that. <laughs> like, I, my memory was that we weren't going to take this in 314. Yeah, we don't current, and we're not currently taking it four. Four up. Four oh, sorry, four oh. Although someone walked up with the whole change, probably. I I still have a problem with a single executable that exceeds two gigabytes. I, I'm sorry, it's just <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just your no, don't do that. Oh God, but. Uh, so I think we're not taking this, right? And if this, someone wants to bring this in 4X, we'll discuss it at that point. All right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And it's linked, right? Right. I did. Yeah. And it's linked. So that. Um, I do think we should leave a. We, uh, do we leave a comment for each of these? I don't know. I'm 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 working on that. Yeah. Okay. Bob, you're going to link all of these in the blog post of the day. So. Right. Please. I am. Yes, please do. Like you do issues. Can we link these instead? Mm. Well, I was hoping that I'd have like a nice and simple highlights right up today, but I guess okay. that's not happening. Well, no, it, it's. I agree. We should. It's just. Yeah. It just. The thing is that I, I know it's not done, but we've almost got the automated linker so that it will tie the videos and the the issues together if we keep doing that. That's all. So if anybody wanted to come back and watch what we said about all this, they could and figure out where this was at. At least leaves the tie together. All right. Uh, whip. Uh, whip. SDK style CS project. Oh, work, work in progress. Fix. A oh, work in progress. <laughs> the other one. Right. Kind of the other one. <laughs> um, fix. V3 SDK style format. Yeah, the the workaround. I'm testing this on some of our agents and behaves sporadically. Oh, well, yeah, I think you just, no. <laughs> no. This is going to get solved. This needs to go on four. Oh, CA targets. Did I miss that here? CA building. I did miss that here. CA targets. Well, this is getting fixed in four. Can we put this one in four? And then, oh, wait, it's closed. Why is this closed? Oh, I see. It's closed because we have a feature somewhere? Okay. I mean, yeah. Fine. Yes, this is being taken care of. If this works intermediately, then we shouldn't. Intermittently, then we're not going to take it. Sporadically. Sorry. Used the wrong adjective. So, great. I think we can just close this one. Agreed? No yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, support for two new controls, the standard bootstrapper. Success installation description, success installation illustration. Implement this. 314. All right. Already possible with V4. Got it. So we don't do anything in V4 because theme mutal is much more powerful than 4. Got it. So are we taking this? This implements two new controls. If it exists, enable it. Illustration? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm I'm I, I am reluctant you can to take this. Um uh, because we've done this in the past and it Always ends up complicating matters. Um, 
Yeah, and we're not bringing migration. Yeah, he's the only one. He has it. The pull request is here. If someone wants to add it to their build, they can do that. I mean, that's pretty niche. You, can you also do this by just changing the success page and adding the text outright? I forget how this is with the NBA page there is done. There is no success page. Yeah, it's just the end page, right? So you have to show and hide things based off that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. He has it. If other people want it, they can do the same thing. Yep. Yeah, it's the the change is safe. The problem is that the uh, um the the problem we've run into historically is um is with localization. Mm-hmm. Um, and his pull request does not add any doesn't take advantage of this mm-hmm. in any of the the standard themes. Right. So it's one. It would be you know. In a way, it's good because it doesn't it doesn't uh, suddenly require um, everything to have it. Yeah, you know, localization and yeah, and for you know every theme to have it and all that. On the other hand, it's completely undiscover yeah. undiscoverable. Yep. All right. Uh, fix burn prerequisite application. What changed? Determining when restart is needed and when it is allowed. Oh. This is interesting. This is in some pretty nasty stuff. What's the change here? To this line. What's the issue? Oh. 5286, huh? With no restart, gets stuck in an infinite loop. Interesting. Yeah, if they don't allow the prereq VA to restart, then then it goes ahead and tells the engine to reload because everything was successful. But then it's not going to be able to load the VA because the .NET framework hasn't been properly installed yet. Right. So then it goes and tries to install it again, and it's successful again. <laughs> and then it tries to, <laughs> then it goes and asks the engine to reload. Yep. Yep. That wasn't thought out well there, was it? And so what is this fix doing then? So if there's no restart, it'll just close. <laughs> The installer will shut down, and the user is going to have to magically know to restart because there was no message, no nothing. If they said no restart, then you don't even get a final page. Right. But only for the prereq? Oh, the prereq finish. Oh, right. Right. So if you go, you kick it off, you see that it's all .NET Framework, you walk away, you come back, and nothing's happening. Right? Like, and it finishes, and you come back, and there's nothing happening, right? The machine doesn't restart or anything. Although you specify no restart. I don't know what you'd expect to have happen in that case. Okay. And this is... Uh, this is too much for 3.14. Like, this is, that can mess up yeah. a lot of different stuff. Uh, but I think this is another one that we, well, I mean, the issue's still out there, isn't it? Yeah. It's still open. So I guess we put it in 4X and see if someone wants to nail it down. I mean, we kind of have to design it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm it's thinking. It's not a simple this, this fix. Is, yeah, this is not easy. So, all right. Yes, I think this, we're going to have to go through all the 3x bugs and move them. So, okay, fine. So I think we close this. There's still a bug tracking it. And we're like, yeah, not in 3.14. Come on over to 4.0. Talk about bringing this fix to 4.0 if you want to talk about how to really go fix it. Right? Yep. Yep. Great. 
fixes Wix toolset issue 6031. Space in the error message for file not found. Oh, my. Where? What's wrong with two spaces? Oh, sorry. That's not allowed anymore, is it? As it should be. File. What? They took out all the double spaces everywhere? Now, these double spaces were actually on purpose a long time ago. don't think they're probably applicable anymore, but... That's interesting. This one could give you triple space. Anyway. Okay. Are we taking this? Yeah, there's a bunch of extra white spaces around that he's taking out. Yeah, right. That's what I expected to see. Uh, okay. Opinions, thoughts? I already took it in four. Ah, okay. Oh, it's Blair. Okay. Which is why we got it in four. Yep. I guess Blair did the right thing. Thank you, Blair. Good job. Pat on the head. Um, gold star, whatever. Um, Wix4 is separate. It's, we're in a pandemic, so gold star, please. Gold star, right. It's yes, yes. No pats on the head. Gold star is in the... In the sky, look up tonight. Hopefully I have no clouds. Um, uh, are we taking the 314? I don't know. It's pretty cosmetic. Yeah. With, with it yeah, I'm all. fine with it. So I, we could take it or not. I'm kind of like, ah, is it worth the trouble? But whatever. You're a, whatever. You're a, <laughs> okay, great. Uh, your vote carries, Bob. Okay. It carries the day. Do we just merge it now? Uh. Well, it rebase it up and around, but yeah. If you don't want to, oh. give it to me and I'll do it. Cause I don't want the big long line. Is the standard rebase and merge not good enough? Oh. Maybe that will do it. Yeah, that might do it. Yeah, Let's find do out. It. Should do it. All right. <laughs> Add auto launch via auto launch variable. Auto launch? Launch the application after quiet call to Wix in silent mode? If accepted, perfects Wix 4 be a better place for it. Well, yeah, a new feature. Auto launch? Why would you want to launch something in quiet? Like, Why wouldn't you? I, something launches at the end. Think of something being delivered via a package manager of whatever type. They're all going to install it silently. So, And then you automatically launch your app at the end of your install, even if it's quiet? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, Wix 4 is a better place for it. I assume there's no Wix 4 for this. Uh, auto launch. No. And there's a better way for doing this now, right? Oh, I see. Take a variable. Oh, I see. If auto launch, I see. If you set a variable to make it happen, I see. This, this is just overloading the existing launch target support. Right. Uh, yeah, this isn't a 314 thing. Although, move the four or whatever. So, yeah. If except perhaps Wix4 would be a better place for it. Yes, I agree. Wix4 would be a better place for it. And we can go talk about the correct way to implement it. Probably, ideally not using a variable, right? Because since we're trying to have that less of that. But I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to, I think, I, I worry about using, you know, a uh, Auto launch. Yeah, and it should to, to do, it means something video. special, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a yep. bit of a common. Hey, this needs a whole conversation about it. So 
yeah. we're not killing it outright, but it needs to go have a conversation about it. So yeah. go have that. Uh, auto launch. Now auto output. Make sure lights task output matches output file. So that the console output always matches the output file. Alright. Set that to that, then do that. I see. So he's messing around changing output file and wants this to work. Interesting. I see. I don't know if output file is used by anything else, but interesting. Okay. Oh, he wants to use. Oh, he wants it as an output. Oh no. And the console output did not quite match. I created a custom. Pro oh, the console. It's just the output. Is that what the issue is? What well, shows up from MS Build when you yeah build yeah. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't really. I'm not really excited about taking. I don't know. It looks harmless, but I'm not really excited about taking. And this build targets change? Yeah. I mean. And if you want to go back into talking about cosmetics. Yeah, this is just cosmetic. So, I mean, I get build it. Build time I, cosmetic. At that. Yeah, I, I'll take it at, we'll take it at four. So, yeah, I mean, we would take this at four to make sure it works correctly at four. So, let's put another one of those V4 thing on it. There's not even a bug tracking this, is there? So, um, yeah, this needs to be moved to four and can go off, but yeah, I don't, not not big on taking MS build changes and having output yeah. files stomp on who knows what, and it's just not worth the hassle. But it's a great thing to go fix in fourteen or fourteen in four. I don't know where I got fourteen from in four. Cause then yeah, we might have broken your tower. Yeah, guess what? You just moved a major version. Yes, output files now used by us correctly everywhere. So yeah. Let's Move to four. Update documentation to include that. Uh, oh, candle of 13. Okay. Is this just a documentation change? Oh, well. Okay. I'm fine with that. Why is it indented funny, though? But, yeah, okay. Um... Um, yeah, that's why. Oh, this issue. Fix it, this issue here. Okay, sure. Documentation yeah, with this. Yeah, it's a good thing. Shouldn't break anything. Shouldn't be able to break anything. Documentation's good. Localized missing entries in Slovak. Oh, one of these. Um... Could be right. I'm really. I think we take it. <laughs> Someone could always slip bad words in these things on us, and we'd never know. But um, what do you guys think? I think these are missing in Slovak, huh? Yeah. So we probably should have them, or it's not going to work properly, right? Right. Yeah, this is the kind of thing. This is why I dislike when we, you know, add add strings. Yes. And then the localization. Point releases. Yep. Doesn't work anymore. Anyway, it seems like we should take that, right? Yeah. 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 And worst comes to worst, you just have more strings. It's not like you were even <laughs> using them before. Display more specific error message when update file row cannot access a file. Is this a good approach? to fixing this problem. Light should be more about which file failed. I don't care about heat. <laughs> yes, but being more specific generally is probably helpful. File, try that. Uh, 
that's all just indention, indentation, indentation. Man, I cannot talk today. Can I um hide white space? There we go. Try a catch. Binder I/O exception. Ah. More messages. I mean, that probably is the way to do it, though, right? Seems like there should be there should be an existing message you can use instead of that. Wait, nine zero three five. That's a verbose, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Not an error. All right. Well, that's but definitely it, not right. But it's an exception. It's a Wix exception. Yeah. Will that get wrapped? Yes. Yeah, so the error number. The error number will be in the wrong space. I mean, the error number will be in the wrong space. Besides, there's got to be our existing error message for dealing with file cannot be accessed already. So, um, this is actually in the binder. Update file row. <sighs> we should fix it in four, these kinds of things in four. I, I don't know about three. What do you guys want to do? This isn't right. Yeah, these are all. Yeah, and it's even in the, the Wix verboses yeah. section of messages.xml, so yeah. I'm not. That, that's not right. How, how would that? Errors? Say again? Yeah, that's what I mean. That, sorry, that's where I was going. I don't, I don't. I don't know that this builds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't either. Um, but yeah. It, so what do we think? I'm fine with the with the code change, but I agree the message needs the be message probably doesn't need to be a new one. No, it seems like we should have one that exists. There's gotta be something out there. I mean we have a gazillion of Maybe them. not. Maybe not, but we have so many of them. Uh, okay, so uh, what are we doing with this this particular PR then? We didn't comment on it before, so and it was a long time ago they last looked at it. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. Fix it in four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Melt. Melt crashes melting MSI with elevator permissions. Oh, temp file collection problem. Yeah, no, this is yeah. just in four. Or actually, melt dead in four. Gone in four. Because of the nifty new patching command line. Yes, the, the nifty new patching behavior. Mm, Tim fog collection is actually the root of the problem, so no, I don't think this is the right fix. Tim fog collection is the root is one of the problems somewhere I think you just have to stop using it or something um yeah, there are weird rules, mhm, mm which basically comes down to yeah, don't use this thing. Don Primrick says we probably never should have added it, and we're just like, yeah, okay, fine. We don't use it in four anymore. Right. So what are we thinking? Oh my goodness. Well, it's another two year old pull request and Blair left a comment that was not replied to. I think we'll let it go. If they really want to come, they can always come back and fight for it. I have no problem with someone coming back and say, no, 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 really, 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 we need this. All right, well, let's talk about it. Um, this is not final judgment. If someone wants to come and bring their case, we'll be like, okay, fine, let's talk about it. But as you can tell, we're pretty, it's a, what did they say? It's a, we're casting a jaded eye. Is that the right term? A jaded eye on 314? Oh, something like that. 
That would have been better if I'd remembered that. <laughs> what should we call it? Cab unpacker and cab packer use with the uh, safe handle. Oh, okay. Button click. Oh, this is a DTF fix. The current code is correct. It should not call us. Uh, So I don't think you were ever satisfied on this thread, Sean. At least you didn't seem like in the end you're like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I guess I should have read up on this before the beating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. Do you want us to leave it when we come back to it? Um, or not. You never... He never really responded to my stuff, right? Can we do that? Yeah, he, he he wants us to fix something without ever really addressing what you're saying. Yeah, no. <laughs> I see, he just wants to leak these handles. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the right thing to do. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not even a little bit. If you check the example in the safe handle, you'll see the class using safe handle doesn't need a finalizer. Can we do the same here? So this is something about a callback, right, being left dangling in the end. Yeah. But it's... But if he does the disposable correctly, things should work, right? Although DTF is riddled with these for loops that you can't do the dispose on correctly, or it's really hard to. Yeah. Ah, yes. All right, I don't know. What do we want to do here? I, I, well, no. I actually have a pretty answer. This is something we could take in four. Like, we could discuss in four, but we're not going to take this, this radical change in three, changing the way that the, the handles are uh, modified, or handled, <laughs> how the handles are handled. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. Sorry. Agreed? Yeah. Because like I said, if they're disposing things properly, then they shouldn't have a problem. Right. That helps, too. Okay. So, nope. And if they want to bring it back and forth, we can bring it back and forth. Back and forth. Add options to suppress hard links. Don't know. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Poisoning the cash. Yeah. I don't. 
I think we talked about this. If you want to do this kind of thing, write a, an extension, the file cache, an extension that handles the file management so you can have your cache thing. I don't want to deal with another switch passing it all around and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're not taking it in three. They could bring the idea to four if they want. And we'll talk about it there. Fix period consisting dialogue descriptions by appending a period. Okay. Oh. Are we assuming that that's supposed to be a period after that? I don't know. Most of these others don't have periods. A well, little. That's the bug. Is that it's inconsistent? But. I guess there's a period. All right. So some of these do have. All right. I don't know. This is this is more your. <laughs> well, yeah. The description should have a period. Mm, okay. See, that's it. There, there, I don't know that the I don't know that the right fix is to add the period. No, I think, I think we're, the right fix is to remove the period. Well, there is no period, and we're extremely consistent on that front. None of these have a period. They consistently do not well, have a period. Look at the look at the bug. Fifty three seventeen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. So he's adding it to these descriptions, but not those. So these consistently did not have descriptions, or did not have descriptions. Did not have periods on the description. Apparently. I don't. So four changes per language. But the description is in the 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 wizard bar, the top yes. the top bar, and I don't I hate the inconsistency, but I think I'd rather say that they should not have periods. They're they're sentences, so they could, but it's in the you know, it's in a odd little area of the of the also, UI. I don't know that you can just add a period to that. Correct. Also true. Also true. Like, see, I don't think that's right. Like, look at that one. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly and Japanese has its own rules. Is that not... Of I don't know. I can't... I don't... I don't know how yeah. many characters that is. All right. That's two. <laughs> it's like, how many people... Is there a white space in there? No, that's just a really wide... Circle character. Oh, man. I wish I could read all languages. That'd be pretty fun. That'd be a neat supercar. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. So this is stuck in 3X. Are we going to take it or no? I think that's probably the bigger question. The look worries me. Look worries me a lot. Yeah. Um, like I said, I, I I'm also not convinced that adding the period is the right thing to do. So I mean, yeah, the issue could be these should not have a period. Right. So this statement may be wrong. This statement is true. This statement may or may not be true. And then based on the <laughs> decision on whether this or that is or is not true, then one of these two things is correct. But we're not consistent. We are not consistent, and that is bad. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know the right answer, and I don't know how to discover the right answer because I don't know that there is a right answer. I think it probably boils down to style. Well, we should probably be consistent, whichever style we choose. Absolutely. So, flip a coin. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's what I'm Dude, saying. I don't you, know. You're don't, the you're, you're the grammar guru. I <laughs> what you I, say, I, I trust much more this, than. This isn't grammar, right? This is style. This is a style question. I see. Maybe there's an answer in like you know an ancient no. Windows SDK. Wizard ninety seven. <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about Wizard ninety five style. Oh, ninety five. Sorry. I think. Oh, no, I think we're at Wizard 95, yeah. 
So there you go. I, I don't know the right answer. I, I suspect that it's a, it's we can pick a style, right? Worst case, we'll, we would disagree with, you know, a 25-year-old style guide. Okay. Which one do you want to pick? I don't. You don't want to pick? You want to flip a coin? No, I don't. I don't want to flip a coin. <laughs> I don't... So, the only... I don't know. Again, it's style. There's no right answer. Which one do I want? I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't care. How about that? Well, Is that? There's a third option, right? Yeah. Yes, no, I don't care. This is the other problem is that, you know, it's an ancient UI style and I just, I haven't done an MSI UI in, you know, six, seven years. So it's really tough for me to go one way or the other. Um, it's probably more correct. No, again, there's no right answer. <laughs> we almost got it. It's, we almost it's, got it. No. I, dude. I, <laughs> okay. If there was a right answer, it's whatever the style guide says. Okay. If, if you don't, if you want an answer right now, probably the best answer is to remove the period and be consistent that way. So that means we're not taking the spell request. Because it's going the wrong direction. It's like, oh, you flipped the coin the wrong way, buddy. Sorry. Why no, you, what are, you're like a PM today. I said probably, but you're all like, oh, this is the right answer. Well, I, I'm not going to – I don't. No. I'm just saying I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what the right answer is. If we care either way, then someone should go look up the style guide. If we don't care that much, then, you know, we, I would vote for removing the periods because it's probably safer to, it's, it's not wrong, right? Because there's no right answer. And it's probably easier for someone who speaks mostly English to make the same change in the other languages. I, I think, I is- think, I don't know that either. Kind of makes sense to me, though. Yeah, yeah, it does. You're appealing to my logic. <laughs> well, it's a very weak appeal, but I to... <laughs> well, I have zero. I'm like, mm, okay. So yeah, okay. I'm I'm fine saying thanks, but we're not going to take this because is probably the other way to go. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Update localization for Korean. Enhanced. I have no opinion. (laughs) But it is nice to see all these things filled in. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about the the CLA stuff. The bot kind of went crazy. It did go crazy. Oh, it, CLA. Oh, required. He never did. He never do it. Well, well, that's I said. The bot went crazy. I think it's just because it was so old. It it was an old style of checking the CLA. anyway although it's a little weird that they removed whatever this was for the .NET framework because isn't this the prereq BA tile here yes so shouldn't this be here such as such as such requires the Microsoft .NET framework isn't that something says something like that um yeah Uh, 
that worries me. Do we take the rest of the change without that then? I, I don't know what this is. Why is the install message three lines long? I don't know. Stick it in Google Translate and see what it says. I guess. Oh. Keep doing that. Install. Please select Install to continue. The option allows you to set the path and install and closing closes the installation. <laughs> kind of seems like this isn't a straight translation. Uh, well, I'm sure if we did the same thing with some of the other languages, we'd end up with something similar. So what are we doing here? Are we taking this or not? Uh, actually, wait. Um, okay, I'm changing my vote. On because the previous thing or on this thing? On this pull request. Okay. Because if I'm right, and I think I am as I talk slowly to go try to check this out, uh, I don't think the prereq pixels need all those strings. Oh, this is because it's a prereq BA. They're localizing stuff that doesn't have to be localized. That could be. Um... Right. Yeah. Um, if you look at, um, uh, sorry, there are some. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. All right. So, yes, the MBA prec wixels do not have all of these strings. Ah, that's why we don't need this. Right. Great. That solves that. So now they are missing the Slovak string or the strings that the Slovak PR has. Right. Right. But so, that's great. So we don't need that one. Great. So, I believe that's true. Great. Moving on. Oh boy, support paths in quote paths in quotes for registry entries. Okay. No. <laughs> no. What are we doing here? No. What? What is this? Oh, the harvester. I frickin' don't care. Shrink and cat file slash y file slash. I don't know what this is. I don't know where we're at here. File slash registry value substring of three. Oh, parent index. I see. Right. Oh, so it's missing things that are quoted. I see. Right, length minus five. Five, three minus what? five. Right, skip one and take off two more. It's it's finding quoted file values. Yeah, which is actually, I mean, it's, it's I'd say it's fine actually for the um, for the hash, but for the bang, who, who quotes a short file name? 
that feels a little weird to me. It could be done, though. But, yeah, otherwise it seems fine. It's just a copy of the lines above. Yeah, I don't care about heat, so... Um, Your guys' opinion? Sure, why not? All right. Fix for path links. Five, one, three, four. Bypass the issue with calling utils directly via command line. Have to set run on a prod light. Uh, five, three, one, four. Five, three, one, four. The system cannot find the file. Okay. A wine. Okay. So this is a Linux game. What? We're deleting Max Path. Ah. Oh, and they're adding this stuff. Didn't we get this by a different change? I thought we already had some of this stuff in place. I took this in four. Ah, uh, it's in four. So, are we taking it in three? Oh, this is Harpster again. Why light? Mm. Yeah, see, that worries me a little bit. Well, the, uh, it takes more changes than this to make it work. You need the manifest as well. So this isn't. Yeah, I'd agree. It's definitely not sufficient. Um, yeah. All right. They want to come back with a fully working thing. We can try that. Yeah. Working version. No managed code. All right, where are we at? 440. We're probably going to make this the last one for today. That means we'll have half. Do not merge. Well, that's easy. <laughs> I don't understand what it's for. I can't set IS web pool to no managed code. I see. So this is the no managed code thing. So this should go to four. So this change should be marked go to four, right? Yeah, I don't think there was ever a four for this. Four, four. All right, great. It's all set up. So if we close it, then it's sitting there waiting for us, right? You never signed the CLA. Oh, really? Well, maybe we can go ping on them. See if we can get them to come back and push the button. And then he never went to V4? No, he, he removed. Ugh. All right, so uh, I'm not taking that, and we will pick it up in V4, and we'll see if we can get to come back and look at it. All right, so that leaves us one, two, three, four. Is this going to be all busted? Nope, it is all busted. All right, let's refresh this page and see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have six left. You guys all right for six more? If, we can, if they go quick? You hate me, don't you? Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. It's fine. I'm just thinking, maybe we don't have to do it next time. Um, I think this one, Heath basically said that this wasn't right. Yes. Well, V6, V3 from MSI, that's just awfully inconvenient. Agreed. Yep, we do more than V2s. Uh, sure, example. Uh, okay. I see. So, well, if it's not correct, we can't take this pull request. 
oh, this is the V6, V3 problem, where they basically just walked away in the end and said, ah, we don't really care about this problem, and called it a day. Yeah, I think we didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> we so. didn't do this on purpose? So I missed that. Remember, I was uh, I was arguing with Heath about like this doesn't work. Like their new design doesn't work. Yes, he didn't really want to hear so. that though. <laughs> so we didn't add support for doing something that's not going to work. <laughs> right, and this guy's trying to come through and add it now, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think this issue or this pull request lives on as a example of where it does not work. Yeah. We should probably write this one down somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it in my, my random little note bag of things to keep track of eventually, because it's one of those that uh, come back one day and people will be like, why didn't you do this? Here's the pull request from the that includes the Visual Studio people that says that it doesn't work. All right. Obviously, we're not going to take that. Some lead tools DLLs create bad defaults for some keys that include nulls and truncate. Oh, gosh. Someone's trying to handle bad registry stuff in harvesting. Yep, there it is, in harvesting. I don't know. If you find it, if you don't find it, set it to that. Else, find it, set it to the position, the substring, I guess. I don't care. What do you guys think? This sets it to the first value of a multi SD string. Could people do this on purpose? Like, could people be relying on the strings native. that have embedded nulls? They could. Yeah, how about we not take this one and just let it go? Bad registry entries. Trying to get to the first null character. I see, but the registry API. Probably will handle multi SD strings correctly then. Yeah, right, because you get a string of arrays, an array of strings back then in that case. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there it is. There's I'm a string. I'm thinking case. maybe the correct fix is to get Heat to write it so that Wix can compile it. Yeah. Well, is there a right value? Or, yeah, is there a right output there? Can you can you express in Wix authoring an embedded null in a non-multi-SZ registry value? Yeah, I think you can put a square bracket. Oh, yeah, do that trick. Okay. This isn't the right fix, though. Truncating the string and losing data, is, I don't think that's the right string. Not, that's not the right fix. I think it's replacing mm -hmm. them with the square bracket zero syntax. All right, support remote payload for pay payload, not just XE package. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a 4 out change, isn't it? Yeah. For any payload, not just under XE pack, not just an XE package. Well, each bill could be used to hash for all of them, which consumes a lot of time. Runtime behavior is unchanged. I don't know. This is a 4.0 thing? Well, yeah, and <laughs> um, I think it's a bad fix, too, because there's not a single engine change in here. Well, yeah, because you just have to get the remote payloads right. So if you get the payloads right, you probably can drop them in the right place in the authoring. Well, it's not going to work for a like an MSI. 
No, it will not work for an MSI. It allows you. I can see it working for like a like an external cab or something. Right, but. and that's his example of SQL Server. If you want to bring SQL Server in, you can let the Wix toolset do it, make SQL available, but then you have to wait for it to hash all the files. And SQL Server is big, so it takes a long time. That's his point. So without it, with this, you can now compute the hash to all those things one time, and then calculate them one time. Put it all in. But. I'm confused. It's still an XE. Yeah, I think this gives you the child payloads. That's all I can figure. You, you do remote uh, payload for the XE. You get the XE right, and then you add all of its child payloads using this. Uh, I that, see. That's all I can figure. Sounds like a V4, maybe. I agree. So, it's market V4. Is there, there is a feature for this. There's a number. Five six zero one. Just grab to grab the right number. Yep, there we go. Great. So there's a thing that we can put in. Oh look, we already did. Great. V four. Oh, Fix okay. Typo in close apps. Oh, in the failure code. Okay. Wow. I wonder how someone found that. Wait. Oh, yeah, it is Terminix code. Uh, they're right. You want to take that? How does this happen? You give it a bad number. Eh, I guess if you gave it a bad number for the exit code somehow, and it would tell you the timeout, you'd be staring at your timeout trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with it when it's not the timeout that's busted. Oh. Yeah. Comments and log messages. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm ambivalent. What do you guys think? Sure. I think we should take it. Okay. And we should probably mm. go move it to four since it's small enough. Just make sure it's over in four too. Um, if neither of you want to do that, assign it to me when it's done, and I'll make sure I go get it. Preventing repairing .NET prerequisite package. Huh? Really? Oh, this is the setup, our setup, Wix 3 setup. Setting the NetFX package ID to that. Because that's causing us to repair, prevent repair. I, I think the Wix BA was looking for this variable so it can know which yeah. One to skip. Yeah. Yep. And do we not? Okay. How does this work at all? It doesn't. <laughs> oh, repair doesn't work. That's the problem. Well, repair works. It overworks. It overworks. The Wix, Wix BA suppresses uh, repair of whatever package is identified in this variable. Got it. So are we doing this? Whatever. <laughs> you know, why not? All right. Why not? Three four yeah, you know, three fourteen. Three eleven, three fourteen will be out there. Yep. Three fourteen. Uh are you are you embedded resource and then a whole bunch of looks like Russian. <laughs> why can't people make the spaces the same? Um What do we what do we think? <laughs> Probably correct. Probably not worse. Right? I don't know. Put it in four? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, my only hesitation is that I'd want to look at, you know, oops. I don't want to look at the strings. Yeah, 
probably localized the existing stuff because they kept this behavior. Which behavior? This the error codes down here at the end. Oh, the, oh I'm sure. The replacements. So. All right. Uh, I'm with Sean. Whatever. Oh, let's take it. Yeah. All right. I think that means we're done. All right. Wow. Power through all that. Reminds me of the old days of um of um uh, when we had all that uh, all those bugs that we had on or the triaging of all the Wix three issues. And just think we get to do that right. again um in the future. So normally I go to the slide and say, Hey, questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. But uh it's five almost five o'clock. And on my time, which means we've been doing this for almost an hour and a half. Um, anything else people want to bring up real quick? It went quick, didn't it? Did no. you get anything on the discussions? I have got um, no did. response yet. Zero. Zero zilch. I suppose I could go poke it again. It's been two weeks. But they did not respond to me. I'm just curious. Yeah. I don't rate that or they had too many people and the, that person is wishing they never put all their email out there for everybody to respond to. Very likely. <laughs> <laughs> give that a very distinct chance. So, All right. Well, we'll be back in two weeks now that we've plowed through that backlog of Wix 3 stuff. Uh, once again, full steam ahead towards uh, Wix 4. So in two weeks, I expect we'll have even more exciting things to talk about. If you're not on Wix Des, you should be, because we're talking about all the kinds of cool things and various design changes and stuff like that going on in 3.14, or in 4.0. Where did 3.14 come from? In 4.0. Uh, so uh, good stuff there. Code being implemented. Uh, builds being made. Things being broken. Things being fixed. Things being made better. It's quite awesome. I don't have anything else for this week. You guys good to go? I'm good. Yeah, good to go. All right. We'll be back in two weeks. Until then, everyone take it easy, be safe, uh, stay healthy, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.